Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we are going to talk about what a natural number is and what a supernatural number is. Now, most of you probably know what a natural number is. It's just simply defined as the all the integers from 1 to all the way to 2, 3, 4, and so on, all the way to infinity. Right? So, for these numbers, as we all know, they can be prime factorized, and uh, if we have a natural number n, it can be prime factorized as the product of uh, all prime numbers, let's just call pi, to the power of uh, ei, where i cycles from 1 to infinity. And for example, if we have a number like 12, then this is equal to the first prime number 2 to the power of 2. So p1 would be 2, and e1 would be 2, and then this is times 3 to the power 1. So p2 would equal 3, and e2 would equal 1, times 5 to the power of 0, times 7 to the power of 0, and so on. And, uh, okay, well that's cool. Most of us should know what a natural number is anyways. But, most of you probably haven't heard of what a supernatural number is. I know I haven't before recently. But, a supernatural number, as you can probably guess, is simply an extension to a natural number. And this extension allows us to not only have EI be a, uh, a finite number, but EI can also be an infinite number. For example, what I'm talking about is a supernatural number it might be equal to, for example, 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 5 times 5 to the power of infinity times 7 to the power of infinity times... 11 to the power of 0, and so on, like that. Now, this may seem kind of strange. Wouldn't all supernaturals be just equal to infinity? Well, that's true, and this delves into some more complicated math that we don't really deal with. However, the idea of uh, something like a supernatural number was pretty appealing to me as it also had a lot of the properties of the regular natural numbers. For example, if you wanted to multiply two supernatural numbers, n times n, then you do it just like a doing it with a natural number. For example, for a natural number, if you do 12 times 10, then you would do 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 1 times 5 to 0, and so on like that, right? And all that is times 2 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 0 times 5 to the power of 1 times 7 to the power of 0 and so on like that. So for this, you just add the exponents, add the exponents, add the exponents, and you get that the answer is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of 1 times 7 prime 0, so on like that, and that is just equal to 120. Fair enough. And, well, this is the exact same with supernatural numbers. You also add the exponents of corresponding prime numbers. For example, 2 prime 2 times 3 to power 5 times 5 to power infinity times 7 to power of 0 and so on multiplied by, let's say, 2 power of infinity times 3 to the power of 1, times 5 to the power of 0, and so on, is just equal to 2 to the power of infinity, times 3 to the power of 6, times 5 to the power of infinity, and so on. In addition, divisibility rules is also the exact same thing. In the regular natural numbers, we see that if all the exponents of one number is under another number, this is not an example, but if all the numbers all the exponents of one number is under the corresponding exponent in the other number, 
for example, if this was 2 and this was 3, if this was 1 and this was 5, or something like that, then we know that this number is divisible by this number, right? So, in a similar fashion, if this number was smaller than this number, this number was smaller than this number, and this number is smaller than this number, and so on, then that means m is divisible by n. Finally, we can defi define uh, least common multiple and greatest common divisor just like a natural number. In this case, for a natural number, you take, for example, if we had 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 3 times 5 to the 1, and on the other hand, we have 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the 1 times 5 to the 0, then we take, we take the greater number out of these two, the greater number of these two, the greater number of these two. And so the greatest common uh, multiple would be 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 1. And the least common divisor is obtained by instead taking the smaller value of these pairs. And similarly, in a, a supernatural number, that is also the case. Now, there's one special thing about supernatural numbers, is that the number n equals 2 to the power of infinity times 3 to the power of infinity times 5 to the power of infinity, and so on, is equal to 0. I know, it's weird, but it's equal to 0. Well, I hope that this lesson in supernatural numbers versus natural numbers has been sort of interesting to you. Just something uh, that you don't really see every day. Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we are going to do solve another one of my problems. And this is a geometry problem.